All right, this is how they set this in this in this paper. It was question 10. It's Euclidean geometry. Uh, I'm armed with three theorems. Number one, uh, equal altitudes. Number two, proportionality theorem. Number three, similarity theorem. The solution will come from those three theorems. And of course, my grade 8 and grade 9 background becomes handy in here. Write down. The question did not say think, did not say calculate. It simply said write down the numerical value of CE over DE. I go there and check what that is. I don't panic. One of the causes, one of the main causes of failure is fear. People, they just panic in the exam. If you don't understand the question, read it again. It will come back. As long as you think along those three theorems, you'll come right. Write down the numerical value of CE over, D, over ED. How many marks? It's one mark, so it's something that is very easy. Let's look at it. They are looking for CE over ED. CE over ED. Do you see the triangle that we are going to use to solve this? It is this triangle. A a, D, C. I'm going to use this triangle to solve what they are looking for. They said I must find the numerical value of, of C. I, 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 we can see that we've got a triangle. We've got a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle. What does it do? It divides the other two sides proportionally. Once they say C, E, C, E over E, D, it will be C, T over T, A. Exactly that. Let's write it. C, E. E over ED is the same as CT over CT over TA over TA. You then write what you see in those spaces. What do you see in CT? I see one, I write it. What do you see in TA? See, I see two. I'm done. This is what is required just for one mark. Write down the numerical value of CE over, the key was this one, the parallel lines. A line. We are not asking for CE over ED. We are checking whether you understand the theorem that says a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. We are checking the theorem, theorem, theorem more than anything. If we say CE over ED, it is the same as CT over TA. You write what you see there in CT and TA, which is 1 over 2. That was for one mark. Let's look at the next one. Show that D is the midpoint of BE. Midpoint. What is midpoint? Halfway. Halfway. Now let's let's read let's read it again. Show that D, where is D? This is D. Is the midpoint of BE. Where is BE? This is BE. Okay. We want to show that D is halfway from here. What is this saying to us? If from here to here is six centimeters, if D is the midpoint of BE from here to here must be how many centimeters? I repeat. The question says, show that D is the midpoint of PE. This is where PE is. Midpoint is this one. It simply means that a distance from here to here must be the same as a distance from there to here. But do we know a distance from here to here? Yes, we do know. It is six centimeters. So we need to show that this distance from here to here is six centimeters so that D will be the midpoint. Let's quickly do that. Uh, Okay, but, but there's something that we know. This whole distance from there to here is how many centimeters? It is nine. But we know the ratio. We know that this over that is the same as that over that. Or this over this is the same as this over that. So in other words, this ratio, a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides in the same proportion. It means that the ratio of this side will also be one is to two. Right? A line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other. The dimensions might be, the same, must be, might be different, but the, 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 the ratio is the same. A line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides in the same proportion. So if this is 1, the ratio will also be 1 the side. 1 is to 2. Now, how can we separate 9 centimeters such that it is 1 is to 2? Mm. How many units, how many centimeters will this part be? And how many centimeters will this part be? If this is nine centimeters altogether, of course EC will be three centimeters times two, three times two, it's six centimeters. So this side will also be six centimeters. So from three up to six, it is nine centimeters. So by doing this, by understanding the ratio, I've, I've put this one is to two in terms of three centimeters and six centimeters. So a distance from here to here is now six centimeters. And a distance from there to here is how many centimeters? Six centimeters. Therefore, D is the midpoint. So the question here was hidden. The solution was hidden in the understanding of ratios. 
We've done number two, let's go to number three. Remember now, we've said D is what? Is the midpoint of, of what? Of, of this line of, B, of BE is the midpoint, midpoint. Think of the midpoint theorem from your grade 10. If FD is equal to two centimeters, calculate the length of TE for, for two marks. If FD, where is FD? Oh, I think I did not put my F here. If FD is two centimeters, we are given that FD is two centimeters. Remember, remember, remember this theorem. Remember the midpoint theorem. We said, if this is the midpoint, and this is two centimeters, that is definitely have to be four centimeters. That, that is what is being asked here. It's all about theorems more than anything. Now, let's look at this triangle. I, I want us to, to concentrate on this triangle, just on this triangle. Remember, this distance is six centimeters, and this one is six centimeters. It makes this point a midpoint. So if this is a midpoint and this one is, 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 is two centimeters, what will that one be? It will be four centimeters. We've used the midpoint theorem. We've understood the midpoint theorem for us to be able to solve that problem. Let's look at these next ones. Uh, calculate the numerical value of. Okay, let me take this right out because it will disturb us now. Calculate the numerical value of uh, Oh, these are parallel lines okay, That's what we have Okay uh, We know that this is the same as that Okay, calculate the numerical value of Area of triangle ADC ADC over area of triangle A, B, D, A, B, D. <laughs> it's a theorem as it is. We want the area of this one over this one. Calculate the numerical value of area of triangle A, D, C, A, D, C, which is this one, over area of triangle A, B, D, A, B, D. This area over this area. Remember the equal altitudes. Remember the equal altitudes. Area of triangle ABC over area of triangle ACD, it will be equal to this space over this space. This area over this area is equal to this space over this space. If I'm starting from this side, this area over this area is equal to this space over this space. It's all about theorems. It's all about theorems. Let's go and respond to this question. The question says, calculate the numerical value of the area of triangle ADC, ADC, this area, over a, B, D over this area. So this area over this area will be equals to this space over this space. Let's write that down. It will be equals to triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to, I've started from this side, I'll start with this space, which is DC. What is DC? It is how many centimeters from here to here? It is nine. It is nine over this one, which is six. I'm done. Nine over six. That is my ratio. The last one. The area of triangle TEC. T, where is TEC? Okay. A, B, C, D, E. This is where E is. The area of TEC, TEC, right? Over area of triangle A, B, C. A, B, C or the bigger ones. Okay, it's T, E, C, A, B, C. How do I do this one? Let's look at it. Let's repeat again. Calculate the area of triangle T, E, C, T, E, C over A, B, C. Oh, I got it now. There's something that is the same here. When you come to this part of, 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 of this section, you've got to look for angles that are the same. In this particular problem, TEC and ABC, it was easier for us because these C's are in the same position. We've got to look for angles that are the same because we are de dealing with areas here. There is no way where TEC and ABC can have the same altitude. 
So I can't think of the, 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 the way of the equal altitudes because these two triangles will never have the same altitudes. Now that one falls off. Now I go back and think of, of, of uh, the area rule from my trigonometry. How does the area rule work? You must have two adjacent sides and an included angle. Uh, this smaller one, I do this side, I know that side. What? A, B, C. Oh, I will know that side and I will know that side. So I'm, I will be covered in this particular case. Uh, let's do it. The area of triangle TEC. TEC. This will be equals to. What is the area saying? Area rule. I'm going to use the area rule. Half this side times this side, sine of the included angle. Let me just use my, my, my ratios if I like. Uh, half of this side times this side, sine of the included angle. That's what the area rule saying. So the area of triangle TEC, it will be half of this side, half of TC, which is 1 in this particular case, times this side, which is also 1, sine of the included angle, which is C, over. I've used the area rule to be able to solve this one. A, B, C. Area of triangle A, B, C. A, B, C. Uh, I can use that one. Let, let me just continue with ratios. It will be half of this side, which is A, C. I'm going to use this side and this side and the included angle. So it's half this whole side. It's three times this side. Uh, 6 is 2, this is 2, this is 4, this is 1, this is 5, sine of the same angle, C. Eventually, what will I be left with? This goes that, this one, this one, ah, oh, we've got 1 over, what is 3 times 5 over 15, right. This is what we have in this particular case. So that's how you respond to this kind of problems. I want us to move on to another type of the problems for grade 12 and see how we work it out.